So this is a great way to work on disassociating movement in the hips from the pelvis. So ideally you want the pelvis pretty stable and the hips moving well. A lot of people will start using the pelvis or the low back instead of the hips, but this is a good way to dial this in. So you want to start off as usual, as with all of our homework, is lining up your rib cage and your pelvis. Pretty easy to do when you're on the floor because the floor is forcing those to line up. Then do some good deep breaths, not to your low back even, but down to your butt, down to your pelvic floor. Find your good core stability here. So that's step one. Next up, we wanna start throwing a little bit of internal and external rotation into the hips. So off center, bend your knees, and then she can just let her legs drop off to the side. It's okay if you don't have a ton of movement. Again, we want, this is all hip. There's no way she can cheat any other way. So this is gonna help open up the hips. If you wanna do the opposite rotation, you let your legs drop in like this. You know, set number of reps, you can just kind of hang out at end range, see what happens, see if it starts to gradually open up. So if you, you're finding a lot of tension in your low back, or you feel like you're overusing your back left hand or demonstrate, so say she brings her, her legs up and see there's this arching of her pelvis and this extra arch here in her back, there's tension. Then what you'll want to do is put a little cushion, a little bit of towel, a pillow, under your pelvis, good. And now you can see when she bends her knees, there's really no movement here. There's no excess curve in her back. There should be a lot less back tension. And again, set yourself up again by breathing down to your sacrum. Fill that with air, find that nice hamster stabilization, and then start playing around with some hip mobility. So if you want to amp this up a little bit, if the other way is getting a little easier, you can isolate out with one leg, exploring end ranges, seeing how far you can go without engaging your pelvis. So I'll have Sandra show you sort of the, the less than ideal way where there's a lot of movement in the pelvis, things are flopping around, there's no stability. So again, the goal of this is to get that stability, then hone in as much range of motion as you can get one leg at a time with the internal and external rotations.